Today's diesel engine is the cleanest it has ever been. Tomorrow's diesel engine, driven by the imminent arrival of Tier 4 Interim in the United States and Stage 3B in Europe, will be cleaner still. One of the targets as laid down by the legislation is to reduce the levels of particulate matter, or soot, entering the atmosphere by up to 95%. So how do we attain this level of reduction without compromising machine productivity and reliability? Well, the first step is to deal with the emissions as much as possible in the cylinder, but without compromising engine performance and fuel consumption. This results in very low particulate emission, but the ultrafine particulates still need to be removed. It is achieved by passing them through a diesel particulate filter, or DPF. This is a highly effective system, but like any filter, it needs emptying or cleaning after prolonged use to avoid getting blocked. We do this by quite simply burning off the soot. But there are two ways of doing this depending on engine rating. Above 130 kilowatts, that's 175 horsepower, our products use high temperature regeneration. In this system, we periodically heat up the exhaust's gas stream by burning some additional fuel in the exhaust. Now, this heats the soot trapped in the filter up to a high temperature, at which point it burns with the oxygen in the exhaust and turns into tiny amounts of carbon dioxide and water. This process is fairly infrequent and will be completely invisible to the operator. For engines below the 130 kilowatt threshold, we use a catalyst to promote a reaction in the DPF to burn the soot at a lower temperature, hence the term low temperature regeneration. To achieve this, the filter is coated with a special catalyst that causes the soot to react with the nitrogen and oxygen in the exhaust stream and again reducing it to a harmless gas. Because this process is continuous, the DPF never becomes blocked, making it entirely service-free and again invisible to the operator. Importantly, both systems deliver reliable operation over a wide variety of applications and duty cycles. In real terms, out in the field or on site, that means excellent fuel consumption, no disruption to the operator, no downtime and therefore increased productivity. We've also made sure that the addition of the after-treatment carries no penalty for the original equipment manufacturer or OEM. The system is physically compact and can be mounted in a variety of configurations to facilitate installation in the engine bay. These after-treatment systems are designed to last the lifetime of the machine, ensuring that the machine is just as clean many years after the engine was first switched on.